Hey guys, how's it going? It's Fuzzy Fractal 42 here again, and check this out. Because we unlocked the pink section here, we can now produce music. I played around with this for a little bit. So basically, what's going on here is this. This. Uh, oop, let's just pause it so that we can explain what's going on here. Each one of these represents a track in a sequence of tracks, and then. Uh, each one of these see in the series here represents one of these numbers so right here here's number one number one if we play number one play it. okay so just one note there obviously and then if we do two and then do here we'll just do this because this will sound cool probably Uh, let's just play that. Ooh, cool. I like it. Um, so yeah, so this is how we make music, in fact. Um, let's see, do we have access to anything here? Ooh. Ooh. You know, I bet we had access to this this whole time and just didn't even know it. I didn't know to click. So, what does all that do? Well, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. This is where we're going to make our music when we get to that piece of the game. Well, actually, just really when the game is over. Uh, I assume that's. Let's see, can I click that? What does that do? Clear pattern. Oh, that's nice. What else? Is there anything else to unlock? Oh, what's this? Save synth. Reset synth. What is this one? Save synth. Reset synth. Ah, okay, so first we pick the tone. So let's say we want super gritty. Uh, actually, I guess we should do this. And super hasty. Let's make it sound kind of like industrial. And very little tone. I don't know what shimmy is, but sure, let's have some shimmy in there. Let's turn down the echo. Let's see, what does that sound like if we... Will that change? that change what comes out of here? Oh, play this one. Yes, I would say definitely. Now, what I can't seem to figure out is... How do I... Oh, we're recording. We don't want to record. How do I copy a pattern? So let's say I have this pattern one here. I guess I don't need to. I would like to be able to copy and then m mutate it in a second one. So I have to figure out if there's a way to do that. Let's clear it. Um, so yeah, and then I guess once we have, let's. <clears throat> okay, so let's give it less shimmy. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's just do a little pattern. Yeah. Just do this. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Alright, I think I got the hang of this. Let's see. Let's turn the bending off. I don't know what shake is. Let's turn the echo up here. Does that affect anything? Maybe not. Maybe because that only affects the uh, the blue, the blue type, which we cannot currently make any of the blue type. But as you can see, as the tones are playing, things are actually moving around. Uh, so the environment is reflecting the music. So when we finally have all the pieces this whole environment is gonna like react uh, in a very particular way depending on what we play which is pretty cool so um, you know I'll uh, spend some time starting to make music off screen and maybe share it with you guys oh is this oh oh we do have access to this okay what does this sound like can we do both at the same time 
Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of whack. Alright, I could play with this for quite a while, and I probably will. Um, but we should probably get back into the game itself, because... Yeah, that's probably more interesting for you guys. So, see you guys there. Okay, guys, we're back over in this area. And, uh, those things are all... Everything's set, so let's see if we can get the heck out of here. way. And, uh, I kind of had a little bit of what I think maybe, whoa, that's going to make us fall. Where are we to go? Oh, there's a ramp right over here. Uh, kind of gave me some thoughts about the blue section that we didn't quite seem to finish in my mind. Um, anyway, we're going to go back and look at that. Uh, first, let's go up here and situate ourselves. Very cool. Um, so this game's starting to make more sense than it has up to this point, I would say. Up to this point, I'd say things have been not really coming together for me totally in terms of, uh, I don't know, the puzzles just seemed really, I don't know, nonsensical in some ways, but now I'm starting to understand, uh, I think, a little bit better the intentions of the developers. So, yeah, let's go transport over over to the blue section. I think I have an idea. Yeah, as far as I know, we didn't really finish this. I, I don't know. Let's go see. It's quite the journey. It's cool how it's all connected, then there's no loading screens at all. The game is done, I, you know, I've never had the game load, except for right at the very beginning when you get into it. The game is all in one environment, and, like, for example, I noticed that this thing was moving from way the heck over there. Um, so, it's very dynamic, it's very, very, very well done. I'm impressed with the game design in general in this game, although I think some of the puzzles are a little bit confusing, I guess the fact that I'm getting through them means they're not so bad after all. Alright. Let's see if I can get a sense of what we were going after over here. been here in a while. And in a way, you can kind of see how it's similar, the, the structure of the room is similar to the structure of the room on the last red puzzle. Uh, there's very much, there's some thought was definitely put into the way the environments looked and um, trying to communicate as much information as possible with the architecture. I wish I could see a a place that looked like this in real life. That would be pretty cool. It'd be a fun place to uh, have a party, maybe. Let's see. I have I have a hunch, but we may we may not be correct in our hunch. I haven't really lo looked at this in a while since we were last here. We have okay. So we have. So the, each one of these is marked one, two, three, four, five sections, right? Now the other thing that was marked on five sections was, here I'll show you guys in just a minute, the little signs that indicated where we were at each time. So like let's go here for instance. It's just 
just a ton of detail everywhere. Mm. Stuff popping out all over the place idea. Yeah, this thing. Uh-huh. Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, so... Get out my handy-dandy paper here, and it looked to me like that was... Let's go look at it. Let's just make sure, so we don't want to have to backtrack in case we make a mistake. We came... Do we come from this direction? Shoot, I already got turned around. Alright, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't need any of that stuff right now. We just need... I don't think this was the way. Darn it. Don't think this is the way. Um... Alright. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, but... We're gonna get an idea here once we... Arrive. Oh. Cool. Alright. Crap. Um... Give me one second, guys. Alright. Uh... Yeah, alright. That's fine. Let's actually just... What we'll do is we'll... Let's just go back to... Let's go back to the beginning. First one of these. I think you guys probably understand when, what I'm getting at here. Um, wow. Here's our very beginning of the puzzle action. Um, let's sort of follow the path, kind of retracing our steps here a little bit. Well, completely, really. hope we can find what we're looking for here. Mm. Alright. See this over there? Okay, so we got it for this one. Well, we'll we can do this by process of elimination for at least the other one, so we'll do the upward triangle and we'll say that's a three and now we'll go to let's go to the full triangle and see if we see the same deal I think it should be right over here somewhere hmm I don't remember this area that well now this is a little bit bad it's gonna take us time to figure this out when it should be quick and easy Okay. <sighs> it's around here somewhere. Um, probably went the wrong way again. it over here somewhere yeah all right so yeah triangle full triangle is a four okay and then I think we saw that the pentagram where are we come on oh let's go to, let's go diamond And then this is, hmm, I have a feeling there's going to be a penultimate puzzle 
after all the stages, all three stages are complete, there, I have a hunch that there'll be a final puzzle that relies upon some of those tablet thingies. Maybe not, but we'll see. Alright, we should have passed it by now. So let's... Uh, we should have been paying more attention. How did they did this without having to do any loading screens whatsoever is pretty impressive. I must say. It's unusual to see in games these days. Alright. We really need to see this. Uh, a bit of a scavenger hunt. So, I'll pause here. Alright guys, we're just flying back around trying to find these things. These little sign things. Uh, I think I passed the Pentagon one around and spied that it was a 2, according to our uh, way of writing this down. Just, you know, just made up, but logical. Uh, come on. And I did unlock an achievement, too, for going a certain way in a certain order, so that was interesting. Alright, I guess let's uh, walk around here. Uh, let's see if we can find this. Oh, that's really kind of startling. There it is. Okay. Can't quite see it from here. And this... So diamond is a one. Okay, that gives us enough to go on because we'll just do process of elimination on the last one. It can only be one of five values, so that's easy enough to cope with. center of the blue section and yeah I'm pretty confident that this is what what is being asked for here and then uh, we'll be ready to start the green section which is pretty cool hopefully hopefully I'm on the right track here why it didn't occur to me sooner you know I mean there's no sense beating myself up for I told you guys a bunch of times wasn't much of a puzzle kind of guy. Uh, so, you know, deal with it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh. Alright, feel good about this. I feel like the red taught me what to look for a little bit better. The red section showed me, hey, this is what the, you know, this is how they're all going to have this common thread. This is the common thread between the puzzles. So I shall see. This should be really cool. Alright. So let's see. You are a three. One, two, three. You are a four. One, two, three, four. Uh, oop. Oh, did you hear that sound change? Uh, you are a one. Oh, there is no one for the line, so okay, that explains. And then you are a two. Hey, hey, hey. Sweet. All right, we're getting somewhere. I think we got it. Yeah. Boom. Sweet. Very nice. Oh, base pattern sequencer unlocked. Awesome. Let's just enjoy the music for a minute like we always try to do and uh, we can
guess mess around I guess for a bit. that we were looking at in the uh, music making section of things earlier. So, very cool. Alright, well, uh, I'm satisfied with that for now. i um, pretty happy that I was able to come to a resolution on this guy here. Very cool. Alright, well, thank you guys very much for watching, and, um, I will see you in the next one where we will tackle the uh, the green area and uh, keep exploring Fract OSC. Thanks again. Bye.